Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. So <clears throat> uh, when you wake up in the morning, I tell people all the time, this is the best chance for your body to absorb things um, such as, you know, any nutrients you want to put into it. And of course, the first thing you should do is get up and drink a big tall glass of water, preferably alkaline ionized water. That's what I do. I do it every single day. I've been doing that for many, many years now and um, it's the healthiest thing you can possibly do. So what are some of the other things that you can put into your body at that time to make it to, to get the most out of those supplements or whatever? I don't usually eat anything, almost never eat anything before noon, okay? Because I want to, you know, I haven't eaten since say six o'clock at night and now I got this fast. So I'm getting like, you know, an 18 hour fast every single day. That's a great way to stay healthy. So, um, and your body can cure itself of any disease, just so you know. I say, I've said it a million times. Uh, one of the things I first take when I wake up, after I drink my water, um, you know, you want to get yourself hydrated. You can't believe how much it does, what it does for your brain. It wakes you up. You're just hydrating yourself. You haven't had any liquids now for, you know, probably, if you've done it the right way, at least eight hours, probably closer to 12, something like that. But um, anyway, so I take... Serapeptase, that's Serapep, Ser, Serap 150 is my particular product. Serapeptase is a systemic enzyme and it gets into the lower GI and it reduces inflammation. In, inflammation is the silent enemy within. It's, you know, there's inflammation like you cut yourself and it hurts and then there's silent inflammation and everything that you put into your body that doesn't belong there is going to create some kind of inflammation. So you want to reduce that serpeptase, amazing enzyme. And what you should take, another one I take every day, natokinase. Natokinase, um, doesn't matter where it comes from, but it's another systemic enzyme. Um, there's two types of enzymes, digestive enzymes and then system enzymes or systemic enzymes. Um, everything we do revolves around systemic reactions within the body. You think, you blink, you talk, you walk. It's all enzymic reactions, uh, your smile. So that's all a bunch of complicated sequence of enzymic reactions. Natokinase is great for the lungs and um, you know, it just does so many different things. Bring down fibrin in the body. That's what um, you know causes blood clots or blood clotting. So you wanna take that down to the body. Another thing I do, I'm just kinda of running through these folks. Um, I take Neutropontronic Alter. That's my, uh, my particular formula. But that has phosphate of serine, um, great for the brain. It's a type of a, yeah, it's kind of a choline. Uh, Alpha GPC, that's like the rock star of cholines. Um, it's got, uh, you know, P5P that's converted vitamin B6. And that's really good for, you know, gets that to your brain. Also B5 goes right into the brain. So this is amazing stuff. It's also got some amino acids uh, that are great for the brain. So I want to wake up with this and not a cup of coffee. That's the way I do it. Another one I take every day, never miss it, is bromelain. So bromelain comes from pineapples and um, just really another great, it helps remove fiber from the body. Uh, just another fantastic enzyme. It's an enzyme, bromelain. And, um, you know, it uh, just doesn't have much of a taste really. A little bit, uh, kind of a little bit sticky or something, but I just take it in a powder form and take it down. But I never miss bromelain. Uh, it does a lot, has a lot of functions within the body and uh, it just makes you feel fantastic. That's got mag, uh, I also take magteen first thing in the morning. I don't have any right here, but magteen or magnesium l is something that I take first thing in the morning. And then, um, uh, you know, that's, that's what you want. That's the magnesium that gets into your brain is, is, is magnesium l and you, again, it's more effective, I think, on an empty stomach because you're, you know, now's your time where there's not a bunch of food down there or anything. You can absorb things um, immediately. Uh, I'll talk about this a little bit more. NFC, uh, n cysteine. It's an amino acid, but uh, again, re good for removing fiber from the body. And a lot of people talk about NAC a lot lately. Um, but uh, this is an amazing product. It's very, very inexpensive in amino acid. Uh, another one I take myself personally is mitochondrial renew, renewal. It's NADH, so that's your, you know, getting at your um, your mitochondria inside your cells. That's 
that's really human health equals cellular health. So if your cells are healthy, you'll be healthy. And if they're not, you won't be healthy. But you want to really address the mitochondria because that's the powerhouse of the cell. So you want to make sure that's healthy so that the cell itself is healthy. You know, just amazing what they're finding about the human cell. You know, a friend of mine graduated college in 1980. And he told me, the, the professor on you know one of his classes, said, we know everything there is to know about the human cell. That's it. It's like, okay. They, they now, now they know, they know almost, they, back then they knew nothing about the human cell. They thought they knew a bunch of things, um, but they really don't know anything. Something I take every day, never miss it, is f fulvic acid. Uh, you'll find that in shilajit, which is like a Himalayan clay. It's a clay. I take shilajit every day. But um, fulvic acid is what's found in there, and it's concentrated. Uh, it does so many things throughout the body, and um, and it's really needed. And, and so many so many times throughout the day. So fulvic acid gives you a lot of energy. Great stuff. Um, this is my protein uh, spike protein inhibitor, and what that is is to remove. You know, in case you got the the jab or something like that. This is the best thing because what this has is kind of all the things. Maybe we already talked to a, uh, a little bit. Um, it does have uh, NAC, uh, bromelain, and natokinase. And uh, NAC, I just give you a second ago, it's, it's, and then bromelain I told you about. And then natokinase, this has got it all in one. So I usually, I might take one of these, but I take these other ones, you know, I've always, so I really don't need to have this one. But if you want to, this is your chance again, you know, to get rid of these, you know, these you know the potential for any kind of blood clot um or you know it could cause a heart attack or a uh you know heart attack of the brain which is called a stroke um but it's really the um the you want to get rid of this fibrin that collects in the body and uh and that's what you want to take for that i never miss it so those are some of the things that i take first thing in the morning um, and it's such a good time to your body's clear and they're very efficient like for the enzymes and this kind of stuff they need to get down into the lower GI you know into the small intestines to get absorbed into the body and if you've eaten a lot of food they're just really not nearly as effective um, it's not that it's going to hurt or anything or even if you eat a little bit of food fasting is the healthiest thing you can do and these are, this is the best time to start putting these into your body so if you want to be healthy, your body can cure itself of any disease. I get people come into my store all the time with a plethora of diseases, and some of them are really depressed. What am I going to do? The doctors told me this. The doctors told me that. Whatever, your body can cure itself if you're determined. It may not be the easiest thing in the world, but it can happen. Uh, if you you know get on the right diet and put the right things into your body and stop putting the wrong things into your body, um, just remember... Somebody has asked me about juicing. The human body is a juicer. We eat a, uh, an apple or some kind of a raw food, and we extract the juice, and then we pass the fiber. And then that, so that's how you get, you know, that's how the body works. Um, they always say chew your juice, you know, because you want that uh, chewing, you know, and that because that's creating all sorts of amylase and hydrochloric acid and throughout the digestive tract, all sorts of digestive enzymes. So um, it does actually help to machinate or chew up your food. Um, but hey, uh, you know, the human body is a juicer. Now just remember, there's no, there's no bread. You can't juice bread, okay? You can't, you can't juice any kind of cooked food. You can't any kind of meat, fish, eggs. You can't juice those things because they're not meant to be juiced. You know, they're meant to be uh, eaten raw, okay? So when you cook your foods, that's where a lot of problems come in. So anyway, that's what I take first thing in the morning. And um, and then I eat later. You know, you want the food, like I said, after about noon. And, you know, uh, fasting, the healthiest thing you can possibly do. No doubt about that. Dr. Bob, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks. I just want to remind you to buy my books. I've got... Uh, Eight books on natural health, uh, one on cancer, one on silver, one on water, some other ones. I've been writing books now, believe it or not, 25 years. And uh, go to Amazon.com or Audible. I've got them all on Audible or go to BobMcCauleyBooks.com. But buy my books, please, and review them.